Hey guys, uh, we're back with another episode. This is going to be our Super Bowl preview, which is tomorrow. We'll probably be le- releasing this at 12 o'clock on Sunday. So if you guys would like to watch right before the Super Bowl, this would be great. So we're going to talk about the Kansas City Chiefs in the Buccaneers. The Chiefs are up minus three, minus 120. Uh, they are also winning the money line minus 166. And the over and under is 55 and a half. So I'm going to let Dan go into it, see how he feels about those numbers and also the game. Okay, so this game, I've been talking about the Chiefs the whole year. I said I can't bet against them. I haven't made a decision yet. I'm going to say the Chiefs, I think this is going to be a high-scoring game. The key to my game, I was talking with Spencer about this before. The key to the game is going to be the Bucks D-line, JPP, Shaq Barrett against the, what's it called, the Chiefs O-line. Yeah, Eric Fisher obviously has a torn ACL. He's out for the year, Achilles or whatever it is. Mike Lemmers, the old giant, is going to be their left tackle. <laughs> yeah. Lemmers was like a slow, slow door that you could just walk through. I had to see him for a year. I do think Andy Weed is a better coach than Pat Shermer, I think. That. Yeah. So Andy Weed, I do think, will scheme something up for Lemmers. And as a better coach, I think it will be high scoring and definitely go over. The key to the game to me is going to be the offensive line of the Chiefs versus defensive line of the Buccaneers. I do think Mahomes will just score enough points to win the game. And I think it's going to be a passing of the torch from Brady to Mahomes. What, final score prediction? Final score prediction, 35-31, Chiefs. I, I, so I'm basically going to go uh, Bucks plus three, and I'm going to take the over. I'm going to, I was going to say 34-30, so I was kind of close, similar or close to each other. Um. I think AB is is supposed to play. He's listed as questionable. Same with Cameron Bray and Sammy Watkins from the Chiefs. They're all questionable, but they are supposed to play. I would expect them to play. Same with, I know, Jordan Whitehead and Antonio Whittenfield Jr. would hurt, but they're going to play as well. So I really do like the Bucks in this. I know going back to the first time, Carlton Davis couldn't cover Tyree Kill for shit, and Tyree Kill popped off. But I think Todd Bowles is a good enough DC to scheme something up to help whoever is on Tyree Kill, even if that's James Dean or Murphy Bunting. And hopefully Jordan Whitehead plays a good role and Antonio Winfield plays like themselves in the back end for that defense. Like you said, Mike Remmers is playing left tackle. I think JPP will have over at least two. I think we'll have two and a half sacks over that, like probably three. Uh, I do like that. So I don't really know. I mean, I, I'm going to go with Bucks uh, since you went to the Chiefs. I do like the Chiefs. It's hard to go against the Chiefs since they're that good. Just watching it. Like, you know, if I had to put money on the game, I'd probably put on the Chiefs, but I cannot do that since my age. But I'm going to go with Bucks just for the underdog, man. I really want Brady to win this and end the discussion as the GOAT. And that's it. That's how I want it to end. So I yeah. didn't know there was still a discussion. He's the GOAT and there's no question. <laughs> no, nah, some people were like – some people were saying – um. Like, this automatically, if he wins, this is automatically ends it. It will automatically end it, but he has six rings, ten Super Bowls, even more AFC championships. Felt like he was in it every year in his first year in the NFC. He's in a conference championship. Yeah. So, I do think he's – I will, will be rooting for Brady. I hope he wins, but I. it's a hard – I don't know the game. Mm. It's going to be – I said – I'll say it again. This is the third time I'm saying it. The, Bucks D line versus the Chiefs O. If we could scheme up something to protect Mahomes long enough to make the throws, because Tyreek Hill will be open, Kelsey will be open. What's his face? Um, Coleman. What's his name? Hardman will be open. They will. It's just going to be about getting time, and then Brady will put up his points with Godwin and Evans, and playoff Lenny will get his rushing yards. Mm. But. It is a home game for them in a different year. I would have thought took it more into a factor, but this year I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. I believe only 30,000 people are going to be there. But I do think the Chiefs will get it done. Uh, going back to week 12 when they played, Mahomes was 37 for 49, 462, three TDs. Obviously a lot of those to, uh, what's his name, Tyreek Hill. Um, Clyde Edwards were here, low-key locked up. He had 11 carries for 37 yards. But going to the Bucks. Brady was 27 for 41, 345, three TDs and two interceptions. And Ronald Jones had a good game. But playoff Lenny, like you said, 
was not very good. He had three carries for 10 yards. But like you said, he's been playing amazing in this playoff so far. I don't think I, – if the Bucks turn the ball over like they have been, like they did last week or two weeks ago against the Packers, they have no shot to win this game. You give him – you you have to keep the ball away from Mahomes. If you don't keep the ball away from Mahomes, he's just going to end up screwing you the fuck over and you're done. So they have to really run the ball well, in my opinion, keep the ball away from Mahomes. And I think that gives him a good shot to win this football game. But I want to go to the receiving the stats. That's fucking it's being stupid. MacBook. Fucking MacBook. Oh, my God. I just want to see Tyreek's actual numbers. It wasn't that the game he had over 100 yards in the first quarter. Yeah, he was like, yeah, it was insane. That's when I was saying he, like, destroyed Carlton Davis. Like, destroyed him. It was embarrassing. It was, it was terrible. I think that was the fantasy, like, highest score ever. I think he had 40 points, if I'm not mistaken, in the first Here we half. go. 13 receptions for 269 yards. How many touchdowns? Two? Three. Three? Yeah, so, Carlton Davis, you better come to play your A game, honestly. Oh, Mahomes did have a fumble, so they did get after him last time. Devin White's going to have to have a good game. Levante David's coming off injury. He'll be fine. But, yeah, I like I like this game. I think it's going to be a very good high-intensity game. But like I said, uh, the Brady, Brady can't turn the ball over. And last time they played, it was low-key like – like people say this in the NFL right now. It's like some passing yards are more catch-up. Like so people are playing deeper coverages and stuff like that. So Kansas City had 17. In the first half, they had 20. It was 27. They walked the whole game. Then yeah, they and then the, the Bucks half. scored 14 to make it close at the end, and that was it. So the Bucks have to come out. I think the Bucks have to score first and set the tone really. That's if they get the ball first. That's pretty much all I have to say, though. I think it's going to be a fucking great game, and I cannot wait to see this. Anything else? Heads or tails? I'm going heads. <laughs> tails never fails. Never fails. Nah, bro. I don't know. Every time I was a captain, I chose heads. We mostly won them. So. You must have lost a lot of tosses then because tails never fails. <laughs> nah, we're good. We won a lot, man. We won a lot. That's all I much have to say. Anything else, Jen, or no, you're good? I think I'm good for that topic. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll drop a like and a sub.